I canceled my Amazon Prime membership. Yeah, I got so pissed off at how they were delivering packages in my building that I just said no more. I got a big sign in the lobby that says, do not leave. It says Prime, do not leave packages in the lobby, deliver them to the tenant's door. Do they do that? No. They just strewn packages all over the floor. I saw a lady almost trip and knock her head trying to get to the mailbox because there were so many packages. And there was even a couple of times where they didn't even bother taking them out of the Amazon tote bag. They just took that tote bag, laid it down, and people were going through it fighting to try to get their packages. Like on Christmas when you got a doll that you have to get and there's only one left and you fight. Are you kidding me? So I said, that's it. And I write to my friend Jeff at Amazon, you know, Jeff at Amazon.com. And I said, hey, this is BS. I don't want any more part of it. I'm leaving. So I get a call from this guy and he goes, hi, I'm so-and-so from Amazon. Who are you? Well, who would you like to speak to? Oh, I can't tell you that for security reasons. Really? You're calling me up and saying, who are you? I can't tell you who you are because it's security. Are you insane? So that was it. And you know what? I still get free shipping. Oh, yes. I have to spend $35 to get it, but that's not that hard. The days of sitting home at five in the morning in my underwear and ordering Kiwi shoe polish for delivery the next day, those days are gone. But I don't miss them at all. And they were gonna raise my rate. Yeah, if I wanted Amazon Prime Video without commercials, three, four bucks more a month, really? I don't need you. I mean, look, I, I, I miss some of the shows. I'll miss, uh, I'll miss Reacher, I'll miss Basher. You know, those kinds of things. But I'm not going back. No, not unless I get some mega coupon for 25, 30, 50, 100% off the membership. You know, there's life after Amazon Prime. And it's a fine life.